we discuss some of the, um, not so much problems, but some of the things that um, KFU wanted to do and decided that if we work together we might be able to make some of those happen. So if you sort of properly on the collaboration, I've been working since February and we think it's going to take at least two years um, to uh, make a, a really, um, really achieve some results. Um, I would hope it goes on longer than that. I find it very, I find Kazan very interesting. Um, I, yes, I visited Moscow. Actually, I prefer Kazan. Isn't that dreadful? Um, but um, you know, I like the people. I like the ambience. Um, so, as far as I'm concerned, if it goes on for a long time, I'm very happy. We're working together on a project um, to um, make the the journal education and self-development more international. Um, for it to be indexed in um, organisations like Scopus uh, and Web of Science um, to attract um, authors from other countries and to make that into a, a much more educational journal which will be published in Russian and in English. Well, I think in some respects Russian education is quite like European education. I always think that Russia is part of Europe. I mean, not necessarily part of the European Union, um, but um, we have more in common than, for example, we do with Taiwan um, or other countries in Southeast Asia. And I sometimes think we have more in common um, than we do with North America, um, which is another place that I, I work. Um, the main difference, I think, is that um, the schools of educational philosophy are very different um, and one of the problems, one of the, the big interests for myself and my colleagues is that we know very little, really, we know too little about some of the very important um, Russian educationalists.